Joe Cardici once again coming to you live from the F1 Race Factory here in Phoenix, Arizona, the 2009 Arizona Rockabilly Festival. We just saw a blistering set by local legends, Spray Face, kind of a surf rockabilly exactly. kind of instrumental band. And of course, they uh, generate those tones with uh, that great Brett sound. I have sitting next to me, lead guitarist Gary Usher Jr. Gary, it's that guitar, man, in the sunlight just was freaking amazing. It is amazing. It's, it's spectacular. Look at this color. It's an amazing instrument, Joe. Let's talk about the guitar. Well, you know, first of all, let's talk about you. Where are you from, man? I'm from Southern California, and, uh, you know, I draw a lot of influence from the subculture Southern California surf and drag scene. This design is it's perfect for that. It, it, was, it was born into that. But into this generation, it, it just it, it only influences it more. You know, the speedy kind of approach. It's just like it, this guitar is like it's, it's like a speed dragster. Very, you know, very cool. Great design. How long have you had this guitar? A couple years. Very and close. it's amazing. It really, it really influenced my writing, the way I play chords. Um, it was actually my first chamber guitar, so that really took a brought my music, brought the volume that I play, it just, it changed everything. And the C's, the D's come out so much more clear. And with the surf and drag band, you know, I utilize a little bit of reverb, but I'm mostly attacking this, this the guitar in my songs, and it only influences and helps me get to where I'm going in the songs in Spray Face. Very, very cool. I know the uh, Green Sparkle was a limited production piece that we did several years ago. You're very awesome that you ended up with one of those. There's not too many of these out in the world. I have to say, very lucky. Thank you very much. Very, um, very it cool. is awesome. Uh, the, the pickups that are uh, on this guitar are TV Jones. Right. And TV Jones, of course, is uh, part of our Gretsch family. I'm going to give a shout out to TV Jones. Man, yep. you rock, brother. Thanks for helping create that great Gretsch sound. Exactly. Uh, let's talk about... Uh, your, that sound that you generate, like let's talk about the getting right from the guitar. Right. Uh, your gauge of strings of choice that you put on your guitar that makes it work for you. The tens, you know, it's it's, it's an approach that I like. It's it helps me bend through um, through the notes that I'm doing. I I, I speed pick with my right hand. Um, but what I notice most about, especially as you say about the pickups, is that it, it um, with a, with with the chambered body with the with the double coil, it just really beefed up my sound. With the, with the 10 gauge strings, the master volume here is a brilliant uh, approach because I can kind of roll that off and not worry about my main volume here. I love that approach. Very cool. Um, so we got stays 10, in tune, fantastic. It's 10 to 46? Exactly, yeah. Very, very cool. And you use like nickel plated steel, stainless steel. What's, uh, These are red strings, actually. Oh, very cool. Yeah, you know, hey. Gotta, you gotta love it. <laughs> it's perfect. It's, 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 it was set up perfectly and it's, it never goes out of tune. Let's it's, talk about the uh, sonic soul of your guitar here now. The rig that you had on stage, was that your rig or was that the back line that was provided? No, it's a Fender Texas Red. Um, uh, great amp, you know, really gives me some good dirt on the top, but allows me in the four to eight range and volume to get uh, a little bit of a dirty but yet clean uh, rhythm sound. Very, and, very cool. uh, I'm, I couldn't be happier with the setup right I, now. I know out front it was monstrous you. and you had a lot of great clean tones happening, right. but when you dug into it, it, exactly. it, it broke up really nicely. Perfectly. And it, exactly. was, it was very, very cool. Right. So uh, the amp again is a. Uh, That's a Fender uh, Hot Rod Deluxe Texas Special. Texas Red, actually, is oh, what it's called. Cool. Yeah, Red Tolex, it's awesome. Looking. Okay, so do you take the guitar signal path right from the guitar into the amp, or what do you got in between? I'm using a pedal board. I use a little bit of phase uh, shifter. I use uh, Echo, of course. I'm running two echo pedals and um, the other pedal I'm using is a uh, uh, an octave pedal you know oh, lower octave cool. and you get a real low end that's another little uh, trick to get really grindy and retro sounds out of your out of your low strings very very so, cool yeah, man yeah very very cool I loved your set man I'm Thank so you glad you much. came out here I know you guys are uh, now local boys and yeah. uh, you did us proud here today uh, playing that uh, sparkle green Billy Bo guitar. It's beautiful. Uh, I, you know, and again, you know, uh, anybody even considering getting a Gretsch is, uh, I can only say from experience, it just it enhanced my playing. It's a beautiful instrument. It's, it's made with care, quality. Um, I highly suggest checking out a Gretsch instrument. They're awesome. Thanks, Gary, for that. Again, coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona. We're just a couple stone throws away, just east of downtown Phoenix at the F1 Rakes Factory at the 2009 Arizona Rockabilly Fest. Thank you, Mr. Usher. Joe, thank you very much. It was much. always a blast. Thank you, guys. Peace out. Gretsch loves you. Thank you.